uh, I think I just turned my mic on. I did. We are back with you. Sorry for the lengthy break there. And this is actually not the ladies advanced. This is uh, juniors, ladies masters. Uh, we do have to still update on the screen. We uh, took the opportunity with the break to uh, have some lunch. We are allowed that every once in a while. Only every now and again. So we'll update uh, everything on the screen. They just got underway. That is the very first break. This is the ladies masters. You might be that 11 ball. <laughs> uh, Shannon, uh, hopefully you can hear us and just keep us up to date on that Flames game. You're at the Flames game. That's why you lost it for us last night. You needed to get back this morning. Yes. Blame Shannon. And once again, guys, uh, thanks for joining us. If you can help us out, share the stream. We'd appreciate it. Let us know how our mic volume is as well. And just share that stream down onto the bottom left. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this is, again, Ladies Masters. They just started, just got underway. And uh, following this match, as soon as they're done, we will have the Men's Masters Final. If they're all done on time. If they are all the done on time, I would imagine that they will. So I think they got one more match to play before they get over to the final here. Who? Masters. Yeah, they'll be done quick though. Excuse me. So sorry for the lack of commentation she's here, guys. A, she's got <coughs> a good angle to go in, in to break out that 11 here. I am uh, trying to do our part and help share the stream as well. Don't get Facebook banned or in jail. No, I, I, hopefully I won't go in jail. Should be able to spin off this bottom rail and back. She's gonna have to shoot up and spin back. Unless she's looking at kicking from the short side all the way across, but I wouldn't be doing that. Sorry, I'm not sure what uh, what table we're looking at here. This one. She's on the 11. I'd spin off of here and kick yeah, back. Yeah, kind of a back cut spin. 
Hey, Roger, thanks for tuning in all the way from Pennsylvania. Thanks for joining the stream. Like I said, I'd shoot almost in between the two diamonds on this bottom rail as you're looking with big right hand spin and spin it back. Yeah, you're you're really not going to be able to, to play much of a safety with uh, the way her opponent's balls are all uh, spread out. So. Yeah, with David. <laughs> David's in Facebook jail as well. Yeah. I'm sharing all of our streams. Yeah, so. Dave, well, David's only a couple days in jail. Yeah, at this point. I've been in jail a few times, so I think my next one's like 30 days. Yeah, I've only been in jail once, but for that one time, they put me in there for two weeks. But hey, and, and David, with, we and we, with no we appreciate bail option. That's never good. Yeah, there's no bail option, so we appreciate all the all the shares that you gave us, David, uh, and put himself in jail for us. And guys, this is a 20-game format, so I am. Uh, I'll put that up on there as so, well. So, like if, um, like Grant and I, like I was mentioning, I think it was the beginning of the tournament here. Between Grant, myself, Stephanie, and Carla, we're probably members of 150 different pool pages, and you can share to every one of those. Yes, you can. So when you click that bottom share button, you'll <laughs> see it should pop up should say share as a post on your timeline or share to group. You can go in that group and you can go click, 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 click all the way down those groups. And if you do 30 or more, they can, they, if you do it quite often, they'll take that as spam and they'll give you a warning and say you're, you're uh, banned from sharing for three days or something like that as the yeah. first one. So it's just, they think you're spamming groups, like putting it because they got, I guess with all the bots and everything, out there that yeah all the algorithms catch all of that so they put you into facebook jail you're not allowed to share even uh on comments or anything uh unless well, you, you are part of that page yeah so i've been banned uh once from sharing a lot my next which is why we ask everybody online or that's watching if you can help us out and share on and share that'd be great yeah i think my next one's Either 30 or 45 days. So yeah, you you uh, you got banned uh, big time. Oh You've been banned a few times. Yeah, wonder if it ever resets. Or it's like three strikes and you're out. <laughs> but you can easily share it up five or six pages, quite a few times a day, and you're all you're all good. It just when we go down and do 45 or 50 groups back to back to back to back, do that a couple times a day, that's when Facebook picks that up, and that's what happens. Score that over there. So everybody can share. Hitting that share button doesn't won't affect you. Rookie, rookie, professional rookie. With that break, we'll see if we get time to go back over there. Although, set the. She 
She just has to concentrate on making this. It'll be auto shape on that eight ball. Thanks, David. Oh, so there is uh, switch back over. That'll be uh, an easy ten seven. So here's Bonnie at the table running high balls. So this would be at 17. Whoops. This will be at 14. We're assuming she's going to make that not miss ball in hand. Tom, Un buddy, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. And she did. Unlike some of the masters. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would have bet everything I have on him ever never doing that. But nope. But it was uh, two o'clock in the morning. They had been playing forever in a day. I can I can see why it happened. It just doesn't happen I very can't, often. I can't see that ever happening, even at that time, with how good Brian shoots normally. Yep. He is one of the top shots in Alberta. And there is the there is the devil of playing on. Uh, on valley tables, yeah. uh, sometimes you get a little bit of a variance in between those two side horns and try to run it down the rail and it'll kick it up. And once again, guys, if you are just new joining in on the stream, we are watching the Ladies Masters. And right after they are done, we will have the men's master final. And again, this is being broadcast out of the Sheraton Hotel in Red Deer, Alberta. This is the Western Canadian VNEA Championships. And I believe we're down to the final, final room here. I think they've got everything packing up out of the big room. Is there ever a crowd around Barry's match over there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And for everybody new that has just joined in, if you can help us out, share the stream, we'd appreciate that. Click on that share button down on the bottom left. Invite your friends, family, share to any of the pool groups that you're members of. Yeah, easy. you can't get banned for inviting your friends. Nope. So invite everyone on your list. Although if you're like me, I'd be still inviting friends by the time the tournament's done here. <laughs> <laughs> I've got f about 45 or 4,600 of the stalkers following me. Well, uh, bad news, good news. Bad news, she missed the shot. Good news, uh took over that pocket for the 11 ball, so Bonnie's going to have to come with a shot here. She might, I don't know if she's got the angle. She might be able to draw back. She up. might be able to, and I mean, valleys are fairly forgiving pockets. As far as size, you can create a lot of the angle that you're going to need. But it is still a risk, right? She's only got two balls on the table. She has to use one of those to get the breakout, so you're never guaranteed shape here. That's even if she can create the angle she needs. She might be able to create it here. We'll see. What a great shot. Something along that lines. What a good shot that was. And this is why she is Bonnie Plowman. You should tell her we're on the stream and we want to see her bank that 11 in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> What a great shot again.
Well done. Well played. <laughs> nice shooting. And back over to the other table here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She does have the she's bank. Good. Yeah. She's good. It's just what she's going to have to come into that eight ball a little bit. I can't. Uh, I think that eight does pass into the top left. You know so what? with that angle, I'd try to come out and hit the three. Yeah, stop but right on the three. Yeah, and it plays that eight will play yep. into the top left yep. corner. Yeah. Should almost be automatic here. Oh, she could cut it. I didn't think she could see the cut. Oh yeah, she can hit the cut. I that thought she was banking that all day. No, now she needs an IQ. No, I said she got it. She got it. She, she had over the full ball. Oh, I thought you were saying that because uh, nope. she could have banked that. I didn't no, no, think no, no, she no. could cut that in there. No, I'm sitting directly in line with the way she was looking at it. Yeah. Well, and guys, that just brings up one of the points that uh, we'll make here is uh, we don't see on our comment. Yeah, on our commentary, we're sitting right at eye level with the table, so sometimes the angle we see is not what is actually there. Where she needs one of those IQ jump cues. Absolutely. Same ones that you and I have. Yeah. What's going on, Steve? How are you, buddy? <laughs> oh, you guys couldn't hear that, but uh, Bonnie uh, was uh, Vi was uh, when she missed that shot. She was she walking, walking on her way to back to her table because uh, her mind went absent and she thought she lost. lost. Yeah. And Bonnie yells out, "Get back over there! And think about what you've done." Get back to your corner and yeah. think about what you've done. Yeah. And that's the other thing with uh, with playing on a team with Bonnie. She's always uh, always joking around and having a good time. She's been on the stream a couple of times with yep. us and uh, as a guest commentator. So um, we've we've let her let her play on the stream a few times too. Yeah, absolutely. What's going on, Darcy? How are you? How's the little one today? Yeah, because if you're sitting in the room watching it live, you can't hear us. That's right. Here you get some live commentary and a uh, little bit of uh, comedy at times. Depending on uh, on how sleep deprived we get. Mm -hmm. And I'd imagine with the uh, with the amount of pool that we got to cover over the next uh, eight weeks, there will be some nookie cookie type. Streams. Oh, that, I'm already uh, already lining up uh, pictures and videos and everything. <laughs> to hey, David, how are you, bud? Thanks for tuning in again. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's where she needs one of them IQ jump cues again. Yeah. On the other table. Yeah. We could lend him ours. Yeah. For for a dollar a shot. Oh, right on, Sabrina. We're glad we could bring it to you. Yeah, I don't know, your, Darcy. Your, your adrenaline hasn't run off yet. Just yeah. wait, a, wait a week. Yeah, I'm not sure whether we're, you're not as tired as we are. Darcy just had a, a new addition to the family. 
had a it was about what three days something like that yep. three or four days ago finally he'd been they'd been waiting open for a while to pop that out You took off before getting some stickers. You should have stopped by the booth and said, hey, I need some stickers well, before you, were, you left. You, you were standing here for quite a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a, a tough jump shot for her. We're not on that table. Oh, but okay. Well, here, let's go to that table. Just because she's, she's run the table down to this and hooked herself. And... Uh, the other table, she did make that three and's got the eight straight in the side, so this jump shot will be a little more entertaining. Should have yeah. got an IQ. Well, I think uh, even with the IQ there, she's uh, she was sitting yeah. tough. Okay, she won that 10 7 on that other table. Yeah. There's Mr. Huey, one time. And guys, we'll do our best to keep the scores as accurate as what we can. Um, trying to watch both tables and commentate and keep the scores 100% correct. A little bit challenging, so we'll go check with the teams uh, every now and again and just make sure that our scores are correct. There is. We're just not that rich yet. Yep. We will get there, guys. Uh, the it's, um, it's a blue blue titler live. It's the program that's run well run with the Wirecast here, and it's it's an additional seven hundred or eight hundred US to do live scoreboards and stuff. Like that. Yeah? No, I don't. Yes, I do. It's in there. It should be in there. Yeah, Riven, uh, thanks, buddy. And uh, for those that are new, Riven's been helping uh, helping us out with a wealth of information. He's uh, sitting at home in Saskatchewan with a double monitor. He's got the screen on one and CompuSport on the other. And just been a wealth of information and uh, and a lot of help with us uh, throughout the stream here. So we thank you again, Riven. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's quite that much. Yeah, it definitely does exist, David. It's uh, something we have looked into. Um, but prior to us buying all of that, we are running everything off of a gaming laptop. Um, and as good as what the laptop is, it's a high-end $5,000 gaming laptop. Um, we do need to move it into more of a desktop. Uh, and the same company that we bought the streaming program that we stream through the same company we bought that through um, does have what it is we're looking for um, but that sorry is guys a probably talking over Grant. I can see him back there but bill. I came over got a so men's anytime that we do Hill get Hill donations in or uh, advertising so on and so forth sunk a couple um, balls got a chance we to are trying to save some of that so that eventually we can move into that and then we can look at uh, at getting into some fancier stuff Everybody to, that's listening to comment and say, Grant, what are you doing? Comment, Grant, what are you doing? Just to confuse them because I'm like 80 feet from the table. Say, Grant, be quiet.
Well, we do enough of the... Uh, We do enough of the larger events here that have uh, have team events and so on and so forth that uh, we do see the value in it. We won't use it all the time for sure, but uh, when we come to these big events, we do enough of, uh, of these that uh, it would warrant it. But prior to that, we need to move out of a uh, out of the laptop. I can see Ryan is up to his old tricks. He pulled this on me once before, confused me the first time, a little bit wiser the second time. So I'll give him an A for effort on the attempt at fumbling me there. Oh no, I'm still tired. That's without a doubt. I am certainly a little bit sleep deprived. But uh, he can get me the first time, but the second time you got to change it up a little bit. Sorry, guys, I'm s sitting here staring at comments, not realizing we haven't uh, switched over to the table. And uh, I do believe Stephanie just went live on her phone through Q Sports Live watching the men's masters. Looks like it's coming down to last game or something like that. So. Yeah, the score should be fairly close to that. Uh, as soon as Ryan gets back, I will uh, go have a look. Make sure we're close on the scores. And it sounds like sounds like Stephen Halem just won it for uh, for Barry's team. Ryan will come back and tell me all about it. Yep, that was uh, that men's masters. Their uh, win was a win in the end. Stephen Brake and Broken ran it. Of course, Sweet yeah, 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 yeah. Typical Stephen Halem. Um, I think Steph was streaming it. Yep, I yep. just let everybody know that. So that will be on the archive, guys. Yeah, uh, you can go have a look at that, and then uh, following this match, we will have the men's masters final. And uh, yeah. You're going to have to change up what it is you do. I caught on to that as soon yeah, as Darcy made the post. <laughs> I know. You can get me the first time. The second time, you got to change it up. Yeah. Oh, I will. Uh, David, that uh, as soon as she ends that stream, it will be on the wall. It'll be archived there. If Yeah, I think she, I think she was doing it over there. Uh, no, Steve. Uh, to be honest, I don't think we've really talked much about the queue other than, than uh, that little bit on the last stream. So as soon as this game is done, we'll put that uh, queue draw that we have up. Yeah, last night. No. The guy's got it at home already. So yeah. Um, can you run over and see what the updated score is on this match? Yeah. Excuse me. 
Yeah, no problems, David. I'm I'm not sure if she's still recording now. Uh, no, oh, well, she's actually was... right here. Yeah. Um, you posted that through Q Sports Live, right? Yeah. So that should. Yeah. 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 Uh, that should be um, on Good the though, wall now. Yeah. That should be up. So that was just the 25th game that uh, Steph was able to record there, but. And Steven ran it out, break yep. and run. Yeah. Nice run out. So not a terrible leave there. Um, fairly Spain easy the safety final. to get back here, so. Uh, guys, this what's that? Just stand there with it. Oh, we're trying to figure out a way, guys, that uh, Steph can use her phone to um, broadcast the men's B final. Oh, we might be able to catch a little bit of it. So, uh, two, four, six, eight. It's not that far. You can barely see that right at the top of the screen underneath the sure shot billiard. So, um, might be able to see a little bit of that. I, I, I mean, it's certainly not going to be in focus or anything. But uh, we're trying to figure out a way that Steph can uh, can broadcast that off of her phone. Then you can watch uh, men's, ma uh, sorry, ladies' masters with us. Uh, and the men's B final with Steph. There won't be any commentary if we can figure out a way to do it off Steph's phone. No scoreboard or anything else. It'll just be the match. Yeah, it'll still be streamed under, under Q Sports Live. No, we'll never use it. Yeah. Well, we might be able to go do the same thing kind of uh, on the last game. Steph will go over and record that one. <laughs> um, do you want to come sit in, Steph? Set what up? Yeah, David, her uh, her phone is through Q Sports Live. <laughs> we've given uh, we've given Steph. Uh, admin powers on the Q, uh, Q Sports Live page. So when she does go live through Facebook, it still goes under Q Sports Live. So same as that last match that she just recorded, that is now archived under Q Sports Live. So same as when we go live, it'll be there if you want to go and watch it.
So guys, I'm going to jump off the mic here for two seconds. I'm going to run and go grab the updated score for you on this match. Uh, I believe this is Shannon and uh, Bonnie Plowman. I know it's Bonnie Plowman for sure, but uh, I believe it's Shannon is her opponent. And there is the updated score in this match. Yeah, Cornell, uh, I believe Riven will be all over that. He has been a big help for us, so he'll see your request there and put it up. Yeah, David, if, uh, if Steph does it off her phone, there is no commentary. There's no scoreboard. It's not the same setup as what we have here. Uh, this one doesn't run off of a phone. This runs off of our laptop through a, uh, a production program. But just off the phone, there's... Uh there is no commentary or scoreboard or anything like that. Cindy Nana. It's <laughs> usually a good thing though, isn't it? Maybe I'll do it like kind of like halfway through the match because otherwise I may not get the full match. Yeah. So let's charge these up and then maybe I'll go in kind of halfway through. Oh, I didn't know that uh, last time I went live on my phone uh, through Q Sports Live, mine didn't have sound, so that's what I went off of. So if she does have sound, she may do some commentation on there. I may be too close to the team. I yeah. Wanna, I don't want to be disturbing. What was the Wi-Fi code for the past? Uh, what was the Wi-Fi here? Mine just comes up share it and guest. Uh, there's, there's still uh, still nine games left in the match. And the only reason uh, Riven got that wrong, this is a 20-game format, not a 25-game format. Oh, you know what? I'm wrong. Riven, you are right. It is a 16 game.
that's what I get for being this tired. <coughs> so, Riven, you are correct. Four ladies per team, 16 game format. Oh no, don't be sorry, buddy. You've done, uh, you've been a big help for us this weekend. We appreciate you tuning in. You've been here uh, almost the entire weekend. <coughs> I'm not sure if you were here Friday night or not, but uh, I got here definitely about Saturday, Sunday. I got here about today. 10 o'clock Friday morning. Quarter after 10 Friday is when I, when I pulled in and started setting up. Yep. No, we didn't stream till about 2 o'clock, but that's about how long it takes to get everything set up. And yeah. Oh, I was saying to everybody, uh, I wasn't sure if Riven was here. No, oh, I know. Not you. Well, I'm always here. Ryan, pro uh, Ryan probably heard Ryan, not Riven. All I need to hear is R, and I'm at this point, I'm so tired, and I'm all in. <laughs> well, at least you get chauffeured home today. Yeah, it's nice. I can have a nap. Yes, you can. Unless I make you drive. We get home <laughs> a lot quicker. <laughs> Yeah, I just don't need the, the ticket. Yeah, us too, buddy. Um, but we appreciate you tuning in. Like I say, you've been a big help. Just following along on uh, on CompuSport, being able to answer uh, answer the questions for us. For us, it, it does get difficult um, trying to commentate, watch scores, keep track of all of that kind of stuff. And then uh, we got so many people coming up behind us yeah. and asking questions and looking. and So trying to figure out everything and trying to look up CompuSport and answer all those questions as well, uh, just not, not possible for us. I eat half so of them. You've been a good help that way, buddy. <coughs> yeah, I didn't think so. I thought... Uh, I thought you joined us uh, on Saturday and been a great help ever since. So we definitely appreciate it. Oh, thanks, Angelo. Ryan and I enjoy doing it as much as you guys like watching it, so it works out well. And guys, once again, if we can have you help us out, share the stream, click that share button down on the bottom left. It's, uh, it's the bar. We would greatly appreciate it. The more viewers, the funner it gets. Yeah, of course. Side. So much brighter than what it is. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this, this we can move around. Got and real chase on it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, this one we can do yeah. whatever we want until it sends right. it up there and nobody sees it, right? So, right. we can edit and do do whatever we need to yeah. do. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, Angelo, the next one is immediately following this. This will, uh, the match following this one is the Men's Masters Finals. So immediately following this match, it will be the Men's Masters Finals. Yeah, he sure is, David. <laughs> I 
Uh, Riven, you do have the option uh, because everything that we do is also archived onto our Facebook page. Nobody has to pay for any of that either. So you do have the option if you want. You go back and uh, you can watch the screen, uh, watch the stream there. There's well over a thousand streams on there now, I believe. No, there's uh, still under 900. Did you count? I looked. Yeah, I looked mm, three weeks ago. It was 814. So we haven't really done a whole lot in the last three weeks. Mm. So we'll still be around 850. Oh, sorry, Angelo. Uh, next event, we're heading out on Sunday. That'll be to Penticton <coughs> for the CCS event out there. Uh, that'll be a five, uh, sorry, a six-day event there. Then we get back to Calgary. We get a five-day break, and we head out to Niagara Falls for another CCS event. That is uh, seven days, I believe, five days. After that, we come back, and we're back in Calgary for two days. Then we're up to Cold Lake for the Battle of the Bands. Then we're into Red Deer. That will be a three-day event. Following that one, we're down to North Dakota for the Four Bears Classic. Uh, following the Four Bears Classic, I think we're back for two days and we're half right in half a day. Oh, good. Half a day's break and we're back into the CCS Canadian. So all of that information, guys, is available on our website. That is www.qsportslive.com. It does have our stream schedule up there. It has a tournament schedule or tournament calendar. Uh, note, Mick, uh, skur is, uh, sorry, the skur. Sure. Did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> the score. No, the skur, uh, I like that. It's it, that's now, we're that's, calling it's it now a thing. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so the score is not up to date. Uh, it was up to date as of a couple of games ago. But again, um, trying to do commentary and answer questions and follow along sometimes gets a little bit difficult to uh, run off of two tables, especially on a, uh, a points scored system. So we will go check in every now and again just to make sure that we are updated. Oh, wow. <laughs> and trust Ryan to call me out on fumbling my words. <laughs> yeah, you just have to call me out like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that, buddy. Uh -huh. I appreciate that. I appreciate the moral support. So the skur board is Ryan <laughs> Ryan's doing off of my fumble. Yep. Yep, thanks for that.
I am with you, Angelo. I'm from that old school. I call it bar box pool. So what I would consider I bar box pool is I anything play that's played on a three and a half by seven table. I play a lot of bad box pool too. <laughs> see bad box? I see that. I yes. play I play bad box. You bad, just bad every time I play, play on the box. You just play bad. Yep. Never mind bad box. You yes. just play bad. But I understood what Angelo was trying to say there. I'm gonna put that on the screen too. Nope. No? Okay. If you get too out of hand, I'm going to take away your power and <laughs> take away the most. <laughs> and just to let you guys know as well, um <clears throat> coinciding with Q Sports Live, I've created a uh, broadcasting page. It's called the Brill uh, Billiard Broadcast Network. <coughs> that is for anybody around the world that wants to stream. It is a group that you can share that stream to. It is not a discussion group. It is simply for broadcasting. It is a closed group, so we do have lots of different streams on there from around the world. So it's a one-stop shop or a single source to go in and see Streams Some from different everybody. Streams from uh, from everybody around the world, and if you are a streamer, you can join uh, join up there and share to that group. If you want to watch too, you can join. We'll have you on there. You can just click and watch. Yep. You don't have to be a streamer to join, but no, yeah, not at all. There's not a whole lot of posting <coughs> or chatter goes on. It's just we share streams. You guys can share streams to it from other other sites and stuff. Yep. So. And that is on Facebook again. That's the Billiard Broadcast Network. I was waiting for you to screw that name up, and I was actually going to change the name of the group. I'm trying to be careful with how I fumble my words against you right now. Yep. It definitely is mine, David. Typically, we don't share the Q Sports Live um, stuff to there because we have members like yourself, and we know that uh, it does get shared there as well. So when we share it, we don't share it to the Billiard Broadcast Network. And so we have uh, Bonnie Plowman at the table here. I'm going to talk a little bit quieter because she's standing right in front of me. Yeah, David, it's, uh, <coughs> I don't want to be biased with it and just share every Q Sports Live feed that we do there. Those will be all on our our Yeah, we site. do that to our action, <coughs> yeah. our page, yeah. So yeah. we but enjoy, we, do, we I enjoy. Mean, members do yeah. share. share to it like yourself. Yeah. We enjoy watching pool everybody else's stuff too, so we figured Absolutely. that's one, one site for everybody to watch. and Yeah. We were watching the, I uh, can't remember the name of his uh, his stream, but uh, Raw Hannah. It's um, uh, Roy's Basement. 
No, I don't think no, it's Roy's basement. No, it no. was. Yes. I'll tell you in a minute. Yeah. So we actually watch a lot of uh, <clears throat> a lot of the other guys that are out there streaming. We watch their stuff as well. We like to pick and choose and, and uh, take what we think is good about their streams and we try to implement it within our own. Um, I do believe we are the largest yeah, streaming pretty pretty on, close yeah uh, on Facebook. We have the most followers at this point. Ryan, you're too loud. I'm too loud. No, it's not Roy's basement. Yes, it was. No, that was a different one. Yeah, that's no problems, David. Um, like I say, um, myself, Ryan, Carla, and Steph, I've made uh, all of us administrators on that page, so anytime you do share on that page, we do have to uh, approve the post, but uh, Carla's pretty quick on the trigger with that stuff, yeah. uh, with approving members and posts and so on and so forth. On the wire, see? On the wire is, uh, yeah, David was on watching with me. Yeah. <coughs> Roy's basement is by Roy, not yeah. Raw Hannah. Yeah. David, I agree with you. It's uh, on the wire. I, w I watch a lot of Roy's basement. Yeah. I watch on the wire. That's from, from raw. That's raw Hannah. From my basement. Yeah. From your basement. Good <laughs> God. But, uh, yeah, I enjoy Raw Hannah. He does uh, does really nice work on the stream, and like I say, we watch uh, we watch a bunch of different ones. I've seen some from uh, around the world. We we try to pick out what we like and what we don't like, and uh, try to create the best of all worlds here. Which is why I believe we do have uh, the largest following, at least thus far, um, out of all of those guys. We do try to implement everything that they have good going on and try not to make some of the mistakes, the mistakes that we see some of the other guys making. Yeah, Carla's pretty quick on that. Every time I think I get a notification that I'll be, I'll be able to approve somebody on, she's yeah. already done it. Yeah. That's on the wire. Where is he at? 7,000. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. He got about half of those because of that stream, I think. Yep. Yeah, he gained a lot by uh, streaming the, uh, the money match that uh, both David Evans and I watched. Well, and I'm sure others that uh, also follow us. What are you whining about, Clerk? <laughs> I might have to ban you. <laughs> I think I'll run over and grab... Uh, an updated score for everybody.
Clark thinks I'm kidding. You know, demote him to Q caddy for the team. Until I ban Grant as well. I better be nice to him until he drives me home, and then I can harass him again. <laughs> Mine's good at this thing. Oh. Need a new cord. See? I just turned them off. Yeah, thanks, David. No, you didn't. I, uh, whenever, every time I go up to get an update, I just flick my mic off and then I forget to turn it on when I get back. Okay, so Steph just informed me, guys, that uh, is is the match started already? No, like five minutes, uh, Barry's team's just having a quick fight, and then... Okay, so Steph just told me that uh, she does have her phone rigged up. This is for the men's B-side final match. You will see that notification pop up on your feeds. So Steph's got her phone rigged up. Uh, Val will commentate a little bit, or as much as she can. Or answer the comments. Through, through comments. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Just through comments. Yeah. Um, and you'll be able to watch that one as well. So they figure about five minutes before that one starts. And going to be no, no issues for, uh, for Bonnie getting out here. Maybe there's a uh, can't remember if I had two in there or not. The truck has everything, but yeah, your truck's not here anymore. No. Nice out from Bonnie there. Whoops, Steph. I don't think so. I got it down here. I got two in my truck, but oh, anytime, Linda. Totally we uh, right we enjoy doing it as much as you guys do watching it. So we do appreciate everybody that's tuning in from Mozambique. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in. I bet you he's warmer than we are. He's definitely warmer than we are. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate that, David. This is where uh, David and I have come to an agreement. So everybody that is new or not sure, sure who David Evans is, David is the owner and creator of the SureShot Billiard site. So that's the information that you see scrolling across the top of the screen. And for all Q Sports Live viewers, you do get a discount on that device. When you go onto, uh, onto the website, www.SureShotBilliardsSite, make sure you've got two S's in there, .com. You'll see a CSL Viewer tab. Just click that tab, but make sure you have put in the discount code. That discount code is CSL Pool, all caps, no spaces. And you'll be able to get a 10% discount on the uh, on the SureShot aiming device. Uh, there is a tutorial on his page as well. Hey 
One time. I heard. No, this 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 time. One time. Oh, this. Oh, hold on, guys. I gotta I gotta talk to Stephen Halem here. Yeah, we've got uh, a couple of viewers. Uh, so we welcome you to the stream uh, from Mozambique. We've got a, a couple of guys uh, that join us from Scotland, from uh, Australia, a few people all over the world. So we appreciate you tuning in. And uh, hey, if you are new to following Q Sports Live and you'd like to follow along with us in the future, very simple process to do. Go onto the website, onto uh, sorry, onto the Facebook page. Click the like and the follow button. By doing so, you'll be notified every time that we go live. You do have the option as well as following along on our YouTube page. And to get notified there, click the subscribe button. You'll see there's a little bell beside that. Just click that little bell. And you will also be notified that way every time that we go live. And you'll find uh, when you do follow Q Sports Live, pretty point and click easy. Every time we go, no, uh, go live, you'll have a link. Just click the link. There are no forms to fill out, no information to give. Click on the link and you join the stream. Yeah, and as David mentioned there, the uh, the promo code box is on the SureShot site homepage. That again is www.SureShotBilliards site. There is two S's there, .com. And make sure that you've entered in the discount code. Again, that is CSL Pool, all capital letters. And again, there is a video on how to use it on the website. And just to touch on uh, who needs that sure shot billiard site, in my opinion, anybody of the novice, B player, A player, even up into the master's level, um, I'm a lower level master player. I still use the sure shot every time I go to enter into a tournament. So in my opinion, it is good for absolutely everybody. It is an aiming device. We'll teach you exactly how to aim properly. And it'll also be a stroke, che uh, stroke check for you. And that is what I use it for. Make sure that my stroke is correct and I'm not twisting my wrist. It is a very, very simple device, which in my opinion is uh, the genius behind why and how it works. Um, I know that uh, David did order 3,000 of those uh, made. We have, or he has, 800 left. They will go fast, guys. They're inexpensive. It's 25 bucks. It will help your game more so than uh, almost any of the other devices out there. I know that DigiQ is very popular. This is a step before you go to the DigiQ. So once those 800 that he has left are sold, there will be an increase in the price. So the price that we see today is an introductory price. Once those 800 are sold, the price will be going up. And I know that 800 does sound like a big number, but uh, if you look on our Facebook page, we have almost 16,000 followers. So. As we go through the, uh, the tournaments and the events that we have coming over the next uh, six weeks or so, I would suspect that those uh, will be gone from there.
Uh, I'm sure David will answer you. He is watching along with us. That is David Evans. He is the president, owner, founder, producer. So for all the Q Sports Live viewers, you will get that discount, uh, whether it's on the early bird price or the increased price down the road. That discount will always be there, but uh, at the introductory rate, there is only 800 of those left. And quite in fact, I know it's even below that because no, I know that uh, there has been some orders online already. But for the... $20 in the States or $25 here in Canada. We do have some of them at uh, the booth. So if you're around the tournament, feel free to stop by. We can show you what they are, how they work. So as soon as those 800 are gone, those prices will be going up. So I may be wrong here, David Evans, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but David Voigt, I believe the delay in the other David's <laughs> response uh, is the fact that uh, we do have the Canadian distribution for the sure shot. Uh, that being said, I will talk with David Evans.
I thought I was going to be right there, David, but uh, wasn't 100% sure. Wanted to make sure that I was right before I overstepped my bounds. But uh, certainly, uh, David Voigt, I will have a conversation with David Evans and see what we can work out. Oh, David uh, Voigt, no, no troubles at all. I'm sure there's a way uh, that we can all work together on it. But I'll I'll talk with David Evans and and uh, see what we can what we can work out. But uh, we're not going to be the one that limits uh, David Evans from additional sources. So I think. Uh, I'll talk with David Evans, and then uh, I'm sure uh, David Voigt, just send him a, a PM. And uh, between the three of us or four of us, uh, I'm sure that we can figure something out. Yeah, absolutely, David Evans. Uh, where there's a will, there's a way, they say. I believe that was actually one of the conversations that uh, we had right at the very start, David, was uh, exactly what's happening here. So we don't want to be the one to uh, to limit opportunities. We can certainly find ways to work together. Cold? It's getting cold. A little bit. Well, they got the big door open down there because we're driving our trucks in there. Yeah. So, guys, I'm just going to jump off the mic here for about five minutes. I will be right back. I'll leave you in the capable hands of uh, Mr. Ryan Epp. Yeah, I think my mic's still still working. Might be a little quieter. I'm in the middle of doing some research for turns coming up. Oh, now we can travel with some of our equipment, stuff like that. But okay. Thanks, Kathy. Again, when Grant comes back in, we'll get him to double check and they'll update the scores.
Just gotta watch the scratch in this top top corner. Nice shot. Switch you over to the other table here. update the or add the points from that table I'm not sure that's the accurate score he said Grant will be back in in a couple of minutes and we'll get him to check on his way by Switch back over here. That's Bonnie playing. I think they're down to the last game or two here. Now, don't know if she's got that three ball from that angle. Nice little touch. Let's roll a little far on that. Don't think she has that two ball or four or whatever it is up there. Is this the last game to check the score? Yeah. Uh, based on the score, I haven't gotten an update, but the fact they're not racking the other table, I think That's Bonnie, I has, Bonnie yeah. has a chance to just win it here. I don't know what kind of points she needs if uh, she runs this out. Maybe it's over. I don't, I'm not sure. <coughs> nice shot. Mm -hmm. So she'll have a shot down here on the four into the bottom left corner. She can cut that two past into that side too, <coughs> looks like. Looks like it from here. I don't know whether... That's what she's going for. Is it? Yeah, she is. She'll just rub off that 11. Oh, she wanted to. Oh, wow. She gets a little bit lucky there. She got the members roll there. She must have paid her dues. Yeah. So I think she's limited as far as uh, 
where that one ball will go. She's uh, in either of the top, sorry, I guess the right-hand pockets. So if she can keep the cue ball down on the left side of that one ball, she'll have uh, her choice. Top right or bottom right. Sorry if I'm talking a little bit low here. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. Um, Ryan and I switched seats, so now I'm about six feet away from where Bonnie's at. Whoa! Oh, no, I think she froze right up to it. I think she's dead froze. She might be able to throw this in, though. So she'll actually cut the opposite way of what a cut would be if those balls are frozen. I think she's frozen to it. Yeah, absolutely. So she's going to try to throw the uh, throw the one ball in here. Oh, I guess that was good enough. I guess she only needed four balls, so they let her continue the run even though she had passed the required number in order to make it mathematically impossible for the other team to catch up. So that match is over. It is the Slick Sticks coming out victorious. So we will let that other stream uh, keep rocking and rolling, guys. Um, if you want to jump over to the other one, uh, there won't be commentary on it. Uh, there won't be any scores or anything like that, but that is the Men's Masters B Final. That is the other link that was uh, thrown out there. You'll just have to, if you want to watch it back out, go to our page wall. Yeah. Scroll down to the live because we'll end this one. Yeah. Uh, again, if you are new to Q Sports Live, not sure where to go, go onto our Facebook page or onto Facebook, search for Q Sports Live, click the like and the follow button, and then just scroll down the wall. And like Ryan said, you'll see... Uh, the other one there, it'll be up, but it won't have any of the advertising, scoreboards, commentary, any of the things that we normally do here. Um, the Men's Masters Final will be on this stream. So when that happens, you will be notified of that with another link, but it won't happen until that other stream is finished. So we'll let them continue, or Steph, Steph's phone continue yeah. on that stream. We'll shut this one down. And you can watch the uh, the men's B-side finals on the other stream. And we'll be back with the men's masters finals. Should take place here fairly quickly. Uh, you'll know that if you do watch that other stream. So appreciate you guys tuning in. We will see you back with commentary for the men's masters finals. Thanks for tuning in, guys.